Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at angina and its associated care plan. So in this lesson, we'll take a look at what angina is and the different types of angina. We're also going to take a look at additional things like subjective and objective data that your patient may present with, and also the necessary nursing interventions and rationales for those interventions. Okay, let's jump in. So the pathophysiology behind angina is pretty simple. Basically, angina is chest pain, which your patient feels because of inadequate blood flow to the heart. This is super important because if blood flow is not restored, more damage can occur. So what is the etiology or cause behind angina? So the most common cause is coronary artery disease or CAD. We also see angina in patients with anemia, heart failure, abnormal heart rhythms, or even stress and overexertion. So the desired outcome for these patients is to increase or restore blood flow to the heart, to decrease chest pain, and improve activity tolerance. Okay, so here you can see an example of a care plan. Let's walk through this so you can see exactly how a care plan for angina would be completed. So at the top here, you can see the medical diagnosis. Below, let's think of some of the subjective data your patient may present with. Now remember, subjective data is based on the patient's opinion or feelings and really cannot be measured by you. So subjective data for this will include chest pain, dyspnea on exertion or shortness of breath. Included in the subjective data should be a full pain assessment, maybe using a scale like old carts. Also super important, ask the patient if they have taken any aspirin or nitroglycerin. Objective data will include EKG changes, hypotension, tachycardia, bradycardia, decreased SpO2, and finally signs of decreased perfusion like cool, clammy, pale skin. So nursing interventions are such an important part of a care plan, so let's take a look at those next. Bedside EKG monitoring, three or five lead, is critical to see if the patient has any arrhythmias because arrhythmias like AFib with RVR, SVT, and also bradycardia commonly cause angina. Another nursing intervention will include a 12-lead EKG to rule out an MI. Guys, it takes 5 to 15 minutes to determine if chest pain will be relieved by nitroglycerin. So by checking a 12-lead, a possible STEMI can be ruled out immediately. If your patient does in fact have a STEMI, the patient must go to the cath lab stat. Okay, super important mnemonic we use for the treatment of angina is MONA. This stands for medicine for pain. O is for oxygen. N for nitro glycerin, and A for aspirin. So this is the initial treatment for acute coronary syndrome. Now remember, MONA is not the correct order of administration, just an easy way to remember the components of this treatment. Okay, so M used to be used for morphine if both aspirin and nitroglycerin did not relieve chest pain, but morphine isn't really used anymore as it increases mortality. So for the M in Mona, think medicine because some type of medication will be given for pain. Oxygen reminds you to check your oxygenation for chest pain. If the patient is short of breath or has a SAT of less than 94%, start two liters nasal cannula. Now, remember though, only use or administer oxygen if it is clinically necessary. All right, guys, nitroglycerin is the initial medication given along with aspirin. Nitroglycerin works as a dilator, 
to help allow blood flow that might be disrupted. You're going to give 0.4 milligrams sublingual. You're going to wait five minutes. If chest pain isn't relieved, administer another dose, no more than three doses. Make sure that the patient's blood pressure is being monitored and hold the dose if the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 milligrams mercury. Finally, guys, aspirin is given because it decreases mortality by thinning the patient's blood. A single dose of 325 milligrams may be given, or four baby aspirin, which are 81 milligrams each, can be given to total 324 milligrams. Okay, IV access, as you can imagine, is super important to be able to administer medications and also for other in interventions if angina worsens or even for scans to rule out thrombosis. Additionally, cardiac enzymes should be drawn to rule out myocardial infarction and even to help show the extent of myocardial damage. These cardiac enzymes include troponin 1, CK, CKMB, and myoglobin. So your patient should have the have blood pressure monitoring because the higher the blood pressure, the more pressure will be exerted on a clot or even severe hypotension could cause angina. The blood pressure parameters are determined by the physician and the systolic BP or even the mean arterial pressure or MAP will be used. So not only do we draw cardiac enzymes, but they also need to be monitored. Troponin-1 is an enzyme that helps with the interaction of myosin and actin in the cardiac muscle. So troponin can become elevated two to four hours after an ischemic cardiac event and can even stay elevated for up to 14 days. When we talk about CKMB, which is creatinine kinase, MB is also an enzyme that is found in cardiac muscle. So when cardiac muscle cells are damaged, this enzyme is released into the blood bloodstream. So CKMB should be measured at admission and then every eight days hours after. Finally, for these patients, an important intervention is clustering care. This allows the patient to rest by doing multiple things in a short time to allow for longer breaks for the patient. Clustering ca care decreases their myocardial oxygen demands. All right, guys, here is a look at the completed care plan for angina. All right, before we end this lesson, it's important to mention that there are different types of angina that do exist that include stable, unstable, and variant angina. Stable angina usually occurs with stress or exertion. It lasts less than five minutes and is usually predictable and is relieved with rest or nitroglycerin. Unstable angina usually occurs with stress, exertion, and also rest. It lasts up to 30 minutes, is unpredictable, and may be relieved with nitroglycerin, but it may not be. Variant angina occurs at rest at different durations, is unpredictable, and may or may not be relieved with nitroglycerin. So be sure to refer to the angina cheat sheet that we have for more information. Okay, so let's take a final look at the components of the angina care plan. So remember, angina is chest pain due to decreased blood flow to the heart, which can be caused by coronary artery disease, heart failure, stress, and also dysrhythmias. Subjective data includes chest pain using a pain assessment like old hearts, also dyspnea on exertion, and ask them if aspirin or nitro has been taken. Objective data includes hypotension, tachycardia, bradycardia, decreased SAT, signs of decreased perfusion, like cool, pale, clammy skin or diaphoretic skin. Nursing interventions include a three or five lead EKG to assess for any arrhythmias and also a 12 lead to rule out an MI. MONA is a critical nursing intervention for the initial treatment of coronary artery syndrome, some type of medical 
medicine for pain is given if nitroglycerin and aspirin do not relieve chest pain. Oxygenate the patient if clinically necessary. Nitroglycerin sublingual is the initial treatment to relieve chest pain to increase blood flow to the necessary areas of the heart. And finally, aspirin is given to thin the blood, which increases patient decreases, excuse me, patient mortality. Blood pressure monitoring is important to determine and treat hyper or hypotension and cardiac enzymes, including troponin, CK, CKMB, and myoglobin should be drawn to rule out MI and determine cardiac damage. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.